Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello. We're all really ill. Um, we've got some sort of a coldy, virusy, virusy thing um, going round. Uh, we gather it's been going round for a while now, and uh, the yeah, entire like two years, like two years, <laughs> and uh, the entire family's got it. So uh, we're self-isolating in the house. We can't even leave to go to the boat. Can't even leave to go to the shop, uh, uh, which is annoying. Yeah. So uh, go on. There's always work to do. There's always work to do. We have had a few days of doing <laughs> nothing, haven't we? And yeah. watching films with Jack and stuff because he's feeling pretty rotten too. But the so show must go on. <laughs> what we're going to do? There's loads of stuff that's come off Melody since we bought her 18 months ago, and it's all in our shed. Stuff like this. Um, which needs to be cleaned and stripped apart and serviced and put back together. So we're going to do a few jobs like that. Um, and because we're so low on energy and can only do five minute stints, we're going to edit it together to make it look as though this has all happened in <laughs> a, in a very clever way. It isn't. It, <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> we're iller than we look. Anyway, yes, I'm going to start by stripping this down and putting it back together. Excuse me if I don't talk too much. I'm Andy. I'm Melissa. And I'm Jack. And together we've spent the last year restoring our steel sailing yacht. Over the last year we've done most of the big metal work and welding. Most of the painting. And over this winter we're working on whatever jobs we can fit around the terrible weather here in North Wales. Once she's ready to float we'll be setting off to sail around the world as a family. Come along with us on this epic journey. Still working on cleaning up bits of this uh, throttle and gear control unit. If you uh, are enjoying this kind of boat work project, boat thing, it's kind of work. Uh, can I point you in the direction of my mate's channel, uh, Brett, uh, in Australia? He's um, got a channel called Build a Boat, where he's restoring a big steel. Um, pilot house boat much like ours um, called Man Valins or Man Avalins or Man in a Van or I, I don't know uh, Man Valins I think is the name of the boat but he's, a, he's an incredible engineer and he's um, going about it a slightly different way from us he's actually got the boat undercover and in a dry warm country which <laughs> makes it a bit, uh, a bit easier so yeah um, I'll put the card up in the corner and uh, links in the description but head over to yeah Brett's channel build a boat and uh, you can follow his um, rebuild of his steel boat right so what I've been doing is rebuilding this Morse unit um, it was all gunged up and it was all full of old horrible nasty grease and I've taken it all apart stripped it down and rebuilt it uh, it's perfectly fine. I could go out and buy a new one and they're a couple of hundred quid. That's cost me a couple of hours, three or four hours, because I've been working it in little stints between cups of tea. Um, so what have you got here? Well, very simple, single lever. In gear, it, the, with the button here, you're in gear. And with the button out, you're out of gear. So if I pull that button out, you can see that move on the back, so out of gear. And then this just moves the throttle only on the engine and then with that in, it moves the throttle and gears. Now this is linked up to the duplicate of this, which is in the pilot house, and this is the one that goes in the cockpit. 
The original position of this was it was mounted in the side of one of the cockpit seats, uh, which is going to be, of course, as you know, Jack's aft cabin. And I don't want to mount this uh, in the side of the cockpit seat because it means cutting big holes, it's potential leak points, and uh, I want to try and avoid that if possible. So uh, let me show you where I'm planning to mount it. This here is the stainless tubular bracket that supports the steering binnacle. Um, it's got two of these collars that uh, are for the table, the cockpit table, and they're going to be in that position. And I want to mount this unit like so. There it is. There's our what's it? I want to mount it about here. In fact, I want to mount it. Let's put this the right way around. That goes this way around. And I want to mount it on this side, on the outside of that pole there, so that um, I can have the throttle and gear in my left hand, um, my steering wheel in my right hand. And you're thinking, well, that's the wrong sort of one to mount on there. So I'm gonna make a custom built enclosure to mount that on that piece of stainless tubing and to save having to muck about with this stainless tubing I've got a spare piece of stainless tube so that I can work on the bench with it like this and that's my next job uh, is to mock this up in Depron um, in, in foam board. So while Andy does some really useful and important stuff for the boat, the throttle control, uh, I decided to do something that didn't even make it onto the list because I want to do something nice. <laughs> um, so I'm making um, a bodge job. No, I'm trying to make a fruit basket to hang our fruit and veg in, <laughs> which we really don't need at the moment, but it's just it's make me feel better. <laughs> Um, what most people would have done was go to the craft shop and buy some hoops and stuff for the thing that I want to make but I've decided to do it the hard way and um, cut some out of some scrap. I've got my jigsaw but the other blades are on the boat so haven't got the right tools, haven't got the right equipment um, but let's see and I've never made one before so it's all a bit of a learning curve. So I just need to make two more of these. They are a bit, um, I don't know if you can see, they're a bit wobbly. I'm going to show you though, while I'm sat here sanding, um, I've, we spend so much time at the boat, uh, we kind of forget how lucky we are um, in the area that we live in. So I just thought I'd um, just pop outside, get a bit of fresh air and show you the view that we have from our front garden. I'm not actually going to show you our garden though because it's a complete and utter mess, but I'll show you the view. <laughs> It's really pretty and green. Just so I've got these four rings that I've just cut out and last night, which I didn't film, I was working on this. So 
so this is to hang the basket up with. So we're finally out, uh, well Jack and I am, Andy um, is still in isolation unfortunately and still feeling pretty poorly. Um, I'm getting there and then Jack's climbing the walls because he needs to go out. He is um, hiding a little bag up his back. <laughs> You're the one that put it there. To, um, so we can collect some driftwood. Uh, we're on we're going well we're making our way for a little walk to a lovely beach um, called Hell's Mouth um, so yeah we'll show you the beach yesterday there was a massive storm, storm called, Eunice. called Storm Eunice um, that has had some really bad damage across the UK I think North Wales actually got away quite lightly um, there and we'll, were some Go and check hey, wait, Melody tomorrow and see how she is. I am. Um, I absolutely love this beach. It's one of my favourite local beaches. Um, but as you can see, with the storm, there's lots of plastic been washed out. That's a really cool piece of driftwood, Jack. Um, Probably actually some maple tree. Yeah, I bought a bag with us so we could collect some driftwood to do some projects, but I think what we might end up doing with this bag is actually picking up some plastic rubbish and taking it down to the bins, because uh, it's pretty bad. Stickle box. Be careful because you haven't got any gloves on. Imagine if you spent an entire hour or a day on this beach. That would yeah, we nice. really encourage people whenever you come to the beach, just yeah. bring a bag and just spend five minutes picking up plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Because still look, there's, oh, there's loads. loads. Over there. There's loads. Just go and look at this. It's just got all of them, I guess. It's a tree, if that's all I can say about it, I guess. 
Yeah, that that's more like it. The weather report for Hell's Mouth is a bit choppy as usual and something missed, but but it's going to be a bit cloudy as well. But overall, it's perfectly nice day. So I recommend you get out of your homes and down to here. <laughs> it's nearly bedtime. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. You're look gonna... at that. Well, not you... look. Do you hear that? Do you hear that noise? The sea? Can you hear it? Yeah. yeah. It's like, it sounds like someone's just growling or something. <laughs> it's always very interesting to hear um, how Jack explains how he hears things. Obviously with his cochlear implants he hears slightly different from us. So it's quite interesting that he hears the sea like a growl, which it basically is doing. <laughs> I only actually needed two pieces of wood, but I got a bit carried away. Plastic. There you go. Oh. Well, that was nice. <coughs> oh. <laughs> I stopped coughing on camera. That was nice. <coughs> <coughs> so that was nice. Say. <laughs> Do you want me to say it? That was nice, we got loads of plastic and stuff. Didn't want one moment to say. That was really nice getting out of the house and getting a bit of fresh air. Um, yeah. I feel a bit rotten now, but it was nice to be out and about.
So do you remember Alden who sent us all the lovely winches for Melody? Well, a couple of weeks ago he sent us this box of goodies. So yeah, let's have a look at what's in it. <coughs> <coughs> We're still really ill. Um, right, this is an amazing haul of stuff. What we've got here, amazing thanks to Alden again, is an ICOM ICM802 single side band. That's the header unit. Let's show you that. That's the actual, the bit that you use. And what's this bit? That bit is the actual radio. Right. So that's the radio. That's the actual RF module, or okay. the, the actual radio module. And we've got with it an ICOM AT140 automatic antenna tuner um, and external speaker. an external speaker and associated cabling. There's no antenna with it, obviously, because um, that would have been a massive thing to post. Uh, just incredible. What an incredible gift. Yeah. Uh, I will say we know nothing about single sideband. It's something that we want to have on the boat, and some people might say, why do you want that? It's old school, where you're not going with Iridium. We are, we're gonna have an Iridium Go system, but the thing is with Iridium is you have to have a contract and, um, and that kind of stuff. And yeah, and it's just good to have backup, isn't it? Absolutely, and with, with a radio, you've got no contracts with anybody, you've got no, you know, apart from your license fee, you've got no worries with anything like yeah. that. So we know we've got to do some courses and stuff, but if anyone's got any information on these, yeah, sure. then, um, drop us an email or write something in the comments um, because we would love to know how to set it up. Yeah, pretty <laughs> clueless about how to set this up really. And of course, Google's a wonderful thing and YouTube's a wonderful thing. There's not um, much on YouTube. No, there isn't much on YouTube about this. So I have not, no idea even what antenna I need to look for, for this, uh, I mean, this says it's an antenna tuner. Does that mean I can use a normal VHF antenna and this kind of compensates for it in some way? Uh, no idea. It's also got what appears to me to be two antenna, or maybe that's one goes from there to there. Oh, there's your antenna input. Not a clue. So if anybody wants to volunteer to help us set this up and get it working, yeah. that would be amazing. In person or via yes. email? Yeah, yeah that would be great. <laughs> and in the meantime, of course, we will be doing the correct courses to allow us to legally use this equipment as well yeah and thank you thank you so much Alden we really really appreciate it <laughs> unbelievable just we had great plans that we were going to get loads done this week um we were just gonna be a little a little bit poorly and get lots of stuff done at home and that's not what happened at it all it didn't happen. we've been a lot more poorly than we <laughs> thought we were going to be so I've been messing around with um, uh, prototyping stuff in fiberglass, as you've seen. And I've been uh, making hanging baskets, which is really essential. <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to pre up the Morse unit for the uh, for the throttle in the cockpit, um, and uh, yeah, we've generally sort of mooched around and got a few little bits done. Yeah, and uh, this was meant to be last week. This episode, and we, yeah. but once again, we were, we were just too we were Ill. just too ill last sorry. week to do this. So sorry, we didn't have an episode last week. But and sorry, this week's episode's a bit rubbish. But normal episodes will return soon, I promise. <laughs> yeah. So that's it from us then. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Remember, you can follow our Instagram and Facebook pages for news and updates. You can support us on Patreon and Coffee, and you can get our new sailing melody shirts and merch dies by clicking the pictures under the video or clicking the links in the video description. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and give the video a thumbs up. We will see you very soon. Andy, Melissa and Captain Jack.